Holly Native here. Today we are going to do a retry. Yesterday I did a first impressions. Today I'm filming a retry because I want to retry this palette. I'm giving it a second chance because I didn't prime my eyes like I normally do. And after wearing this palette all day yesterday, it turned out to be a freaking hot mess. And I'm not even lying. It was like all of the shimmer was gone. Everything was gone. So I'm probably going to use shimmer again today, but I'm just going to do a little bit of a different color scheme because I do want to try some of the other colors. Um, if it doesn't work out, I will be returning it because it just, it's a little, it's just a little disappointing how it turned out yesterday. I mean, even with the, the primer that I used, it shouldn't have turned out that way, um, but it did. So we're going to retry it, give it another chance and see what happens. And not only that, I'm going to do a retry and a wear test of a comparison. This versus this. This is the one I wore yesterday in my video. I posted, um, I posted it before this video, I'm sure. I'm hoping that this wins. <laughs> so, with that being said, I'm actually going to start by using my Mindful Five. This really, I wouldn't call this, I mean, it says a face primer on the bottle, but I really feel it's more like a, a prep versus a primer, because I could not use this just as a primer. Now with someone who has dry skin, I feel like they probably could do that, but I'm an oily girl combo really because I'm oily and dry and it really depends on the season. But right now it's like almost the end of summer. It's like 90 degrees here today. And this wear test is gonna be trying, so I have to make sure I prep my skin really well. And I'm gonna be wearing a face mask today, so ooh. I'm gonna have to do light makeup, but I'm still putting these to the test. I'll be able to tell, you know what I mean? You'll be able to tell whether or not this is similar because if it's similar, both sides are gonna look the same, you know? All right, so let's go ahead and prime the face. I'm gonna do my right side with the hard candy. I'm not even kidding you guys, it looks freaking identical. Look it, it's got that green tint to it. Look it. Okay, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna put this on here just like that so you can see. And then I'm gonna do this one on here. Look at, same green tint. Okay. Let's go for it. I gotta put a lot of my nose around this area because this is where my mask is obviously. Okay. I put two pumps on. <laughs> I usually put two pumps on for my whole face, but it's okay. We need a little extra today. Okay, so now that those are on, I'm gonna let those dry for a little bit. I'm also retrying. I forgot about this. I'm also retrying this to see if I like it. I hated it yesterday. I literally hated it. I'm just like, what is the point of this? So, because I do use a brow gel on top of this. So if this is mainly just to set your brows, I can understand that. I really can. This Patrick Ta um, thing. And maybe I'm just using it wrong. Maybe I need to look up the video on how he uses it. So this brush is so nice. It's got the thinnest edge to it. And that's why I like it so much. I knew I was gonna love this brush because it's gonna give you like a really great hair stroke uh, lines. The packaging on this is something to be reckoned with. I just hate that it looks like you can open it from the top here and you actually open it from the bottom. And it's really hard to open. Like. It's just not easy to use. Okay, so my brows really do look good. I think I'm learning how to use this and maybe I just need to give it another chance. So, and I'm giving it another chance today. And if it doesn't work out, it's gonna go back to Sephora. I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, so let's do our makeup. Our, um, it's super grippy. I'm telling you, they feel like, can you hear this? It's grippy, okay, it's grippy. 
Okie dokie, let's go ahead and get started with this foundation. This is what I do when I want lighter makeup because if you go in and just put it all over, like if you put it on your sponge, oh, you're gonna have a mess, trust me. You're gonna have a hot cakey mess. I'm looking down at my mirror, guys, sorry. Let's move on to concealer. I really loved that concealer that I used yesterday, but I'm going to use my, it's called Elf Hydrating Camel Concealer. And if you don't own this, you need to, because it is amazing. And I literally use the smallest amount. I really didn't need to do my chin because it's going to be covered up anyway. And so is my nose. But that's okay. All right. That looks good. All right. So moving that aside, I'm going to not set my face because this does have fallout. My, I'm going to use this tarnish color and these mustardy colors and maybe do a little bit of a bronze two on the eyelid i don't know i'm gonna probably start on the lid today here we go i'm gonna start with this down here doing something a little different diffsies that's what i say we're doing it different this yellow on top of that to make it like a brighter brighter color okay i like that i'm gonna flip the brush over just and just go up into the crease okay now i'm gonna take this fluffy brush and i'm gonna use rubbish this like mustardy green color Ugh, see though look at it's patchy right there. Ugh. I just want ease of use, you know what I mean? I'm going to work, I don't wanna to have to fuss with it a bunch. I know it's gonna be like a perfect eye look because I know the shadows are gonna blend amazingly. Ugh, yeah. This is how I prime my eyes for shadow every single time, you guys. This isn't anything new, and that's why I wanted to give it another try. Just blending it up a little bit. Yep, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna take this brush again and put on just a little bit more of this yellow. I need to take, I have to futz with this. I said I wasn't going to, but I have to. I can't go to work looking like this. It's just not gonna happen. See, it's, it's just, it's just not, I've done so much blending already and I'm not going to do any more. I'm going to do my lower lash line. Um, just take a pencil and use this. I'm going to use rubbish, rubbish and erode together. That's the yellow color, by the way. I'm sorry if I didn't tell you that. I'm not liking it. I'm not liking it. I hate that. Okay, so what to do? I'm gonna put some smoke on it. Let's put some smoke on it, guys. We're gonna put some of this darker rust color to just make it look better. Oh. The yellow is really pretty. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It's just the performance in general that's really the kicker all together, you know? I'm going to take my blending brush and just blend this edge here so it looks nice and seamless. And then I'm going to take this little blending brush, my little guy that I used yesterday, this little guy, and blend out the bottom. I have a ton of eyeshadow on my face right now. A ton. All right, guys. So 
I had a bit of a mishap with my foundation. It turned out, after all, it turned out perfect. I had to redo it basically because the eyeshadow falling down, um, putting more makeup on top of that just made it look horrible. So I redid it and it looks great right now. So I think what I'm going to do now is I am going to just spray my face. I have my all of my makeup on already. Um, it looks really good. I'm not going to lie. The, the, the color story of this palette is just gorgeous. Um, it's just really hard to work with. So it's going to go back. I think I might exchange it for the new De Natasha Denona bronze palette um, because I've heard lots of really great things about that. But anyway, I'm going to do my Holy Grail spray, uh, Scandinavia. And I am going to let this dry. I've already put on, as you can see, my lashes and everything. My whole face is done. So I am going to bring you along with me today. I am going to probably check in um, on my lunch at work and then check in later in the day when I'm leaving work um, just to kind of give you an idea of how they compare the hard candy versus the milk makeup i also tried again the palette to see how uh it's holding up if it's a hot mess by time um, my lunch comes i'm definitely going to be returning it and we'll see how it how it turns out so come on with me hey guys so i'm doing an update and i am just really impressed with this this side was the hard candy, this side's the milk makeup. And honestly, my, my makeup looks really good. I've been wearing a mask like since I left this morning. So I've been wearing it for about, see I left at 11.15, so almost four whole hours with a mask on my face. So it's looking good. This eyeshadow palette is actually really beautiful. But guess what? I don't like the performance, so it's going back for sure. Yeah, it's looking really, really pretty. Love it, love it, love it. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. I'll do another update when I leave work. Hey guys, I'm updating you right now because I have good lighting. And my makeup, I'm sorry, but it still looks really good, except my chin. Some of the makeup is missing from my chin, but Honestly, I have to say that this is my right side. The makeup in general looks identical on both sides, so it's definitely approved and it's definitely a dupe. Uh, I would not not buy that primer, so go get it. I hope you liked my video and I hope you subscribe and give me a thumbs up. All right, I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.